good nutrition with good and a good exercise routine like one plus one really equals three with something like this so there are complementary effects on mental health when you synergize the two I had a client recommend that I create a video about the mental benefits of exercise and nutrition. And I've seen exercise and diet have a huge impact on my own mental health, um, but also, you know, with hundreds of clients that I've trained over the nine years of coaching. So let's define mental health a little bit closer. Uh, one definition of mental health is the capacity to feel, think, and act in ways that enhance your ability to enjoy life and deal with challenges. And I think this is a really good definition and let's dive into how exercise and nutrition can help with this. Now, some common challenges that I hear when I get on hundreds of consult consultation calls with potential clients is people have low energy, low self-esteem, low motivation, and sometimes even, you know, they're in a, in a depression honestly so some mental benefits of just pure exercise can be stress reduction mood enhancement anxiety relief and i can really relate to that one i feel like sometimes before i get my workout in i'm i feel like i'm gonna rip someone's head off <laughs> when i don't like have that workout done for the day so I, I don't know how people get through the day without working out because there are some days if i don't work out i feel like i'm gonna go crazy so um, but it also improved sleep quality is a huge one I, that I've noticed for myself. I, I feel like sometimes I can't even sleep if I don't work out as well. Um, but also boosted self-esteem and confidence. You're just going to feel better. Uh, there's the whole saying like for sports, like um, you feel better, you look better, you play better type of thing. So I think in life, if you kind of look at life like a sport, which sometimes I do, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you know, you look good, you feel good, you're going to perform good with what you're doing. So, um, and there have even been studies that compare the effects of exercise on depression to like SSRIs, which are, you know, the medications for depression and exercise beats out every medication. So it, people are just looking for the easy way out these days. Um, but in other countries, even, I think I heard in Australia, they won't even prescribe you a medication unless you work out for a month and, and still have the symptoms of depression. So the the effects can be huge guys and like i said these are some of the most common traits that i'm seeing from people that aren't working out when i get on initial calls with people and then i've seen like you know starting to work with people that weren't working out before and they start to work out the mental benefits and the stress reduction like because i do track these things with my clients it's huge so 100 percent um you know exercise has a lot of different effects on your mental health now let's dive into kind of the nutrition side of things. So the mental benefits of nutrition can be brain function and cognitive performance. And a book I would recommend on this is The Genius Life. I can't remember the author, um, but there's a book called The Genius Life. Um, and it talks about like, if your main goal with your nutrition is try to perform well cognitively, this book is all about that. So it's gonna dive into how you can eat so that you function your best um, with your brain. So super cool book. I would check that out. The genius life, um, but also stable mood and energy levels. You know, your nutrition plays a huge role in this. Um, another book that I would recommend is called willpower. Again, I can't remember <laughs> the author's name, um, but willpower, um, uh, something they talk about in this book is a lot of times people's willpower can be affected a lot by their, their like blood glucose levels. Like if you have low blood sugar, um, then your willpower is going to be super low. So kind of like having consistent meals um, and making sure that you have stable mood and energy levels has a lot to do with your nutrition. So that's a big thing. Something I've looked into recently that I've just started diving into is the gut and brain connection, right? And we, we actually feel a lot of our emotions in our gut. So when we have a healthy gut, it can affect our mood and our energy levels and, a, and our emotions actually quite a bit. So having a healthy gut can play a big role in this. And something that I've done is really start paying attention to having probiotics in my diet and having a diverse gut, basically. Um, and this can really help your mental health as well if you're just paying attention to those things. So another huge thing is just when you start getting in shape and you're losing some weight, you know, building some muscle and you're eating right, your body, mil 
body image and self-perception, you know, is going to be affected a lot too. Same thing going back to the look good, feel good, play good. Like we can make a lot of differences to the way you look um, and, and feel with your nutrition. Um, and when you're doing that, you're going to have a better body image. You're going to have better self-perception. Your self-esteem is going to be higher. So everything that we're talking about were like common challenges for people, you know, the nutrition can, pay, can play a big role in that. So, and then to kind of put them together, when you combine the two, when you combine combine good nutrition with good and a good exercise routine, like one plus one really equals three with something like this. So there are complementary effects on mental health when you synergize the two, all right? And strategies for integrating fitness and nutrition for mental health would be setting realistic goals. You know, I'm, I'm big on goal setting. Um, and, and if you want to, you know, set realistic goals for yourself, you're not really sure what to set. You know, I, I do free consultation calls. So let me know, just message me transform on Instagram. Uh, but setting realistic goals is huge. Prioritizing consistency over intensity. I've seen so many people, a lot of my friends in the past, you know, they just want to go balls to the wall or like, you know, the new year's resolutioners. They're just like, I'm going to go from zero to hundred, like right overnight. Right. But prioritize making sure you can sustain a system and be consistent over the long term because that's going to be a much better way to reach your goals than just trying to focus on going as hard as you possibly can all right another strategy is finding enjoyable activities that just make exercise effortless into what you're doing so for me like playing basketball does not feel like cardio like i just have fun while i'm playing Right. So having something like that, maybe it's pickleball, maybe it's like just going on hikes in nature, um, but having things that you enjoy doing anyway, um, but get you to get some extra exercise in is a huge plays a huge role as well. So another thing like seek professional help and guidance and support. So maybe join a group, a free community or reach out to me. You know, we can kind of talk about what a good plan would be for you. Um, but make sure you got guidance and support with loved ones and people close to you as well. Just make sure that you're fostering an environment that people know you're going for these goals and they're supportive of you. So some success stories and testimonials from people that I've seen that I've worked with that have made a lot of results with their mental health. I mean, for one, me, I, I mean, I was in a very low point, probably around 2019. Um, and I've talked about it before, but I, I won't go into it in depth, but I was struggling with my mental health, right? And, and exercise and nutrition, doing all this stuff, really, I feel like saved my life. Um, and so that's why I'm so passionate about helping others not only transform their bodies, but also their minds and become the strongest version of themselves overall, okay? Um, and I, I won't name any names, but I have had a client, you know, have, have an alcohol issue and, and you know, get more <laughs> kind of channel his addictive personality in the right way, get more addicted to the gym and eating right and doing the right things um, and, and get rid of that. I've actually seen that a couple times with clients. Um, I've had a client that has started with me on antidepressant medication, but through building these right habits has gone off of antidepressant. And now just through exercise and good nutrition, his mental health has improved so much that he doesn't need to take medication for it. So um, I've seen you know, these are just a couple examples, but I've seen plenty of clients that I've worked with, like transform their bodies and minds through doing the right routine. So if you want some help getting into a solid routine for both physical and mental benefits, then message me transform, like I said, on Instagram, and I'll reach out to you. We'll, we can schedule a, an initial consultation, see, see what we can put together as a game plan. Um, but if you like this video, like the damn video and subscribe for more personal development content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.